Hi everyone! Welcome back to another episode of As Seen on Pinterest. I'm Emily with the Lincoln County Public Library and today we're going to be making a washer necklace. For this project you will need some washers you might have in your garage or your toolbox. You'll need some nail polish, a variety of colors, and you'll need some string, yarn, cord, anything to make the necklace hang. We're going to show you two different techniques, just the simple painting of the nail polish and we're going to work on a marbling of a washer. So for that you'll need a little bowl or um, cup of water. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to show you is how to just paint a washer with your nail polish. So you'll go through your nail polish collection and pick out some colors that you think are really good and then you'll just use it as almost like a marker or a crayon, but you'll use it to decorate. You can either use it to do like dots, or you can do it to make the waves and blend colors. And once you're finished decorating it how you like it, you will let it dry. That way you can put the ribbon or cord around it in order to make it a necklace. All right, and our final one is to make a washer necklace with the marbling of the nail polish. So to do this, you will need a bowl or little cup of water and you will need some nail polishes that will not bead or clump when you drop it in water. We want it to spread. So you give a little dab and you make sure it spreads. And then you'll keep adding colors with it pretty quickly in order to get them to blend right. because the nail polish on the water does dry really quick. See, it's already dry there in that blue. So you can grab a toothpick kind of spread it through, try to create a little break in the water, and you'll keep doing that. All right, and once you think you have a design you like, this here comes the messy part. So you're gonna make sure that you have some nail polish remover on hand because it is going to get all over you. You will take the washer and you will gently dip it in the water. Kind of shake it about. And then pull it up and as you pull it up, the print should stay on the washer. See, I missed a little spot there, so I'm going to go back in, try to dip it there, and it comes up and off. And you can keep trying different patterns and different nail polishes to see what really works and see what kind of creations you can come up with. You may want to do some sort of sealant, like a clear nail polish coat over it and on the back of it as well to prevent cracking in your nail polish and then when you put the yarn or cord or string on it to make it a necklace you can also add beads going up it for an even more decorative approach thank you guys for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this project let me know in the comments below if you end up making one of these and send us a picture through facebook messenger all right have a good day see you next time